I, I dabbled in it from when I was a little kid, but I didn't really take it seriously. Yeah. Um, but from an early age, I knew that I had a, a, a bit of a talent. And then I ended up working here and, and doing the in the safari business. Yeah. And uh, for years and years, I did that and not this. The idea of, of getting something going with artwork and yeah. tourism grew. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, and the one complements the other one now. So it works <laughs> yeah, perfectly it together. Yeah. Yeah. I was born in uh, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Moved to South Africa when I was very young. And I moved around South Africa with my family and found my way down here, Eastern Cape, and have been based here for about 15 years. I, I lived in Mafeking, which is up near the Botswana border. That's actually, you know, where I first started getting into visiting game reserves and being somehow involved. I was surrounded by animals, surrounded by nature, and I think that's where my first love of animals uh, and nature really started. Doors opened up for me in, in this area and through contacts, through friends, um, I was allowed to work here and I've been doing it for over 10 years now and I get to share my world with people from all over the world. So we, we're living in close quarters with wild animals. They have become habituated, but we have to remind ourselves constantly that these are still wild animals and, and that they still have wild tendencies and one day they could seem friendly and the next day they can be the total opposite. I have been uh, chased by a rhino bull. I've had elephants that have been a bit feisty on the day and standing their ground, uh, ears open and, and intimidating us a little bit. I've had lions give us a bit of a warning with a growl and a flick of the tail. Uh, all these things add up and uh, we become wiser as we go along. At this particular game reserve I've known the one lion for as long as I've worked here and uh, I've seen him grow from early days to an old boy and it's you know, it's, it's incredible. It's a privilege for me to, to experience them so close and get to know them so well. <laughs> Artwork is, is another passion that has just developed over the years. And I had the idea uh, many, many years ago and it didn't just suddenly happen. I, I tried and I failed and I tried and I failed and slowly but surely it progressed and it got to where it is now. I can't remember the exact point um, or moment in my life where I decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I've always been the creative type and I've always experimented with so many different things. But I found myself in this field where I'm, I'm working with animals and they've become my, my passion. In most of my drawings, um, they're close up, you, you get to see the face and very important the eye. This game reserve you have opportunities to see animals closer than normal and it works pretty well. Um, guests get to see the animals and get to look into the eye of the animal and I hope that when they look at my artwork it'll be the same sort of feelings that they'll be looking into the eyes of the animal. I've had people approach me from charity organizations and they say, listen, we want your artwork, we want to use it to raise funds and in a way raise funds for conservation and for other charities. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. A rhino went for 200,000 yeah, yeah, rand. So, so that, that was pretty good. And that went back into rhino conservation, helping keep track of them and, and uh, curb the, the problem we're facing with the poaching of rhinos. When people visit, I, I do want to share my love of wildlife. It's my passion. And I think I have impacted a lot of guests during my game drives. It has made me realize, first of all, how, um, how lucky, how fortunate I am. So many people are stuck in cities and have grown up in a totally different world to my world. And I think people need to realize 
what they're missing out on and realize how important nature is for themselves um, and, and become more aware of, of, of how important it is for us, for everyone. It has caused me to have more of a drive to share it with more people through everything that I do, through, through guiding and through my artwork.